Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Classic and our Blood Elf Priest playthrough. Thank you guys so much for being here today and for clicking on the video, I truly do appreciate it. We are going to head over to the northeast and we're going to help Ranger Valana. We also have some trolls we're going to have to fight out that way. And that is where we're going to start. After that, we're going to just kind of tackle things in level order. I did turn in some of the runaround fetch quests that we had that took us back to Silvermoon, and I trained our level 14 abilities. So we got another rank of Smite, that's now at rank 3. We got Cure Disease, removes one disease from a friendly target. And we got Psychic Scream, which is going to be a fear, causing two enemies within 8 yards to flee for 8 seconds. Damage caused may interrupt the effect. So yeah, having the next rank of smite is going to be pretty big for DPS. And uh, we can kind of like have a little get out of jail free button here with Psychic Scream. If we get into a really bad spot and we want to run away, uh, we can do that. Or we can just fear stuff and let it die a little bit from our, from our Shadow Word Pain. You know, it gives us a, a few more options for dealing with inadvertent group pulls. So that's, that's going to be good. Uh, let's maybe avoid the elite. We'll go around a little bit here. I do need to buff myself up. Uh, okay, maybe he needs help with the elite. We'll help him out with the elite and then we'll drop. She's immune to the fear, turns out. There we go. Oh, we also got Renew Rank 2, which we're going to use right now. Okay. Not exactly what we wanted to do here with very little mana, but probably be okay. We had a little bit of help there, which was appreciated. And now we need to drink. Now we can actually head more in the correct direction instead of just flying off towards the northeastern corner of the map for no good reason. A new Belore Delinar. I sent Ranger Salissa south to the Enclave and Ranger Lethvalen west to Tranquiline more than a day ago. Have you seen either of them? Uh, we saw one of them. Good to hear that Lethvalen made it to safety and he was smart enough to ask you for help instead of just waiting there. I hope that Ranger Salissa made it safely to Farstrader Enclave. The lieutenant here rushed us into battle with the trolls across the lake instead of scouting the situation first. We were decimated by his stupidity. You hear me, Tomrithrin? You're an idiot. Will you help us, priest? Those trolls still need to be dealt with. I need to stay here and nursemaid him. I think he's lost his mind. Just head east to the other side of the lake into Zeb Sora. I want revenge. Bring me their ears so that I can fashion a nice necklace. Remember the sun well. Alright. Uh, we also have a quest over here. Which is also a level 12 quest, so we're going to grab that.
I feel like there might also be a quest at the Enclave. Yeah, Spirit of the Drowned. We need to go to the Enclave. Our enemies will fall. Every year, we, the denizens of Suncrown Village would take part in a ritual to keep the different aspects of nature under our control. Dominion over the water elements was symbolized by the summoning and enslavement of an elemental named Aquantian. Through a wicked perversion of our magic, the scoundrel broke his bonds and enslaved us instead. We wore medallions shaped like waves during the ritual. Seek them out at the bottom of the lake. We'll need them to free my compatriot spirits. Remember the sun well. Yeah, we have a few things to do here. I want to go down to the Enclave. And uh, we have more than enough room in our quest log, so maybe we just pick everything up now. That'll give us a good idea as to what order we're going to do things in. We're just going to run through these guys for now. Uh, we're going to have a quest to fight them, so... Bearers of the plague, you show courage coming to the Ghostlands rambles. There is much work to be done here and not enough brave souls to do it. I have a thankless task to offer you, should you have the inclination to aid our cause. The very wildlife in this land has been tainted by the plague and we must stop it from spreading. Hunt the ghost claw links to the east and south of here and return when you've slain enough of them. Stay the course. I'll tell you when we've slayed enough. Bring me Kelgosh's head, wanted. Bring the head of Kelgosh, the wicked chieftain of the Shadow Pine Trolls, to Captain Helios. No questions asked. Kelgosh is known to dwell somewhere in the south in Zeb Noah. Reward, yes, but no advances. Okay. Can get a good staff out of that. Some spell power on it. You have Spirit to the Drowned, which is why we came here. The lake to the north has been haunted by the ghosts of my ancestors for as long as I can remember. The poor souls were victims of a tragic incident in which scores of them drowned at the bottom of the lake. The details of the event are mostly forgotten, but their haunting cries serve as constant reminder of their curse. If you're up to the task, I want you to go to the lake and put an end to the suffering. You will have my gratitude as well as theirs, I am sure. Remember the sun well. Alright, now we have everything we need. Well, the, when it hit, Smite dealt a chunk more damage, so that's good. But then it missed, which was not as good. Let's surface for a minute and get some of our air back. Okay, we, we have a party of guys here. They're all immune to the fear, which is incredibly bad for us, if you were wondering. Yeah, I think that we die here. I'm pretty sure we're going to die. Uh, we don't have enough mana for a Power Word Shield, so... 
Ooh, that was uh, vicious. Three of them, so we can't take three of them. We probably could have dealt with two of them. It would have been really cool if they weren't immune to Psychic Scream, but I, I guess I understand why they would be. They're ghosts, so... Yeah, it's a tough one. Uh, we are infinitely far from our body also, so we have a lot of time to think about this failure and uh, how we got here. kind of the thing about the priest is like you have really good survivability right until you run out of mana if you're in a bad situation when you're running out of mana you are basically dead we don't have any mana pots we should probably try to get some could have saved us there I probably only need to do one smite and then we can start wanding. If I'm trying to conserve mana. I prefer two smites and then we'll, we'll drink when we have to. Trying to let Spirit Tap do its work without casting while it's regening. There we go. Let's head over to the shoreline and we'll drink. Then we'll take on that guy and grab the last item that we need.
The eternal sun guides us. With these necklaces, we shall once again summon Aquation. The rebellious elemental will pay, and our deaths will be avenged. That willful elemental ended many lives that fateful day when he revolted against us. By calling to the lowly murloc to sabotage our rights, he subverted our magic and turned it against us. Show him our thirst for vengeance has not waned. Take these medallions and lay them at the altar of title mastery at the bottom of the lake. Aquation shall immediately answer your summons. Keep your wits about you. Well, hello there. Uh, we've had a, a questy bug over here. We have a duplicate Ghostlands log going on. I will reload our UI here in a second. And we'll see if that fixes it. Looks better. Well, it's going to be a close fight, apparently. But we're going to get him. Glory to the Sindori. You've avenged our deaths and broken Aquation's grasp on our souls. We may finally rest. We will have justice. Well, that's good. Rest is good, my man. Uh, that leveled us so we don't have to worry about drinking back to full mana. Let's get the rest of the spirits we need if we can. What are we looking at here? We need three Ravening Apparitions and one Vengeful. So, and, and we can also get more on the way to turn it in. So we'll have to head all the way down to the south eventually but we will go over to the troll area now and we'll take care of that
the ears are kind of a surprisingly low drop rate. I thought they'd be dropping all over the place. Not the biggest fan of having to like stop and drink every few fights, but there is something to be said for having to actually manage a resource. It does add a level of immersion in the world that uh, once absent, you never really replace that immersion with any other thing. Eternal sun guides us. I appreciate your efforts, Priest. Thank you. Now we can say that this expedition and all the lives lost on it haven't been in vain. I need one last favor of you, just in case Ranger Celissa didn't make it back to Farstrader Enclave on the south edge of the lake, I need you to go there and get help. Just check in with Captain Helios and let him know what's happened here. I'm sure he'll send back help as soon as he can. Farewell. Alright, so we will head back to the south, and on our way we're looking for three ravening apparitions. Alright, we've got an ad, but we, we should be able to deal with it. We, we have enough mana. We'll get our power word shield back up. And we're good. We're good, and we are done with the quest.
new Bellore della Na. I appreciate your help, Rambles. It pains me to see the spirits of my ancestors in their pitiful state. May they finally get the rest they deserve. Death to all who oppose us. Anaria Shola. That's dire news indeed. I completely overestimated Tamathrin's ability to lead. I'll see to it that a group is dispatched to safely bring him and Velana back in. Unfortunately, we never heard from Ranger Celissa, so I fear the worst in her case. You've done the Far Starters a great service, the State Priest. Please take one of these as a small token of our appreciation. Don't we find the, the other ranger, like in the Troll Catacombs? We have a quest to escort her out. Ooh, we got some gloves out of this one. Uh, they all have some more quests for us, which we'll grab, but we're probably going to have to circle back and work on uh, these lower level ones. But let's have a look. Shadow Pine Weaponry. Priest, I want you to kill as many Shadow Pine Trolls as you can. We need their numbers greatly reduced before we can shift our attention toward Deathholm. And while you're at it, we might as well kill two birds with one stone, so bring me back a load of their weapons. Farewell. Okay. Ouch. You have a quest. What business have you? Attack on Zebtella. Our resources are spread pretty thin here, priest, so your help is going to be invaluable. The captain has tasked me with overseeing the harassment of the local Shadow Pine troll camps. We have a policy of keeping them off balance until the day when we can launch a brutal offensive to wipe them out. Until then, we need all the volunteers that we can get so that those Shadow Pine trolls numbers are decreased. Think you could head east to Zebtella and hurt them a little? We will have justice. That is what we excel at. Oh, wrong balcony. Our enemies will fall. Traitor's Shadow. Dar Darkan Drathir is believed to have returned from the dead to rule over the armies of the Scourge and the Ghostlands. Darkan aligned himself with the Scourge long ago. Yet he was once a living, breathing elf. Much of his time was spent inside Dawnstar Spire north of here. He hid there for many nights, scheming against his own. Search the tower for more information, Rambles. Perhaps he had a journal or kept notes. One never knows where useful information may present itself. The reckoning is at hand. Okay, that is all well and good. But we have some other stuff that we need to prioritize. Um, I thought we needed to start... Oh yeah, here we go. We need to do this stuff to the, to the west. Let's hearth back to Tranquiline. We also have a couple of quests uh, to pick up here now as well. We should probably buy the next level of water. Everything has a price. Yeah, let's get some stacks of melon juice going. Just get rid of the milk. We do have a mana pot now, but it's not a very large one. Keep a hold of that. Alright, that should be good as far as inventory management goes. We need to head up top here to grab this quest, it looks like. Possibly, maybe. Yes. Baladash Malinore. The dark energy that flows through the bodies of the reanimated skeletons tends to accumulate primarily in their spine. I've discovered a method of instilling this energy into a potion that boosts our magical abilities against the undead. Bring me some spinal dust and I'll be glad to provide you with a sample. Salama Ashalanore. And rotting hearts. I hear the Amani trolls eat their enemy's heart to steal their strength. 
they might just be onto something. With the proper treatments, the hearts of the unliving can produce potent elixirs. Hunt down the zombies that roam the dead scar and bring me their hearts. I'll show you the kind of enhancement we can perform to your physical prowess against the undead. Hold your head high. Okay. Alright. She's going to make us some uh, performance enhancing drugs. I don't know how I feel about that. And we have retaking Windrunner Spire. Priest, I want you to reclaim Windrunner Spire. It's an honor, really. Windrunner Spire is the original home of Lady Sylvanas Windrunner, Queen of the Forsaken and former Ranger General of the Elves. But now it's been overrun by the Mindless Scourge. To get there, take the road south until it branches. Yep, yep, yep. We will find it. Okay, so, uh, priorities here. Down the Dead Scar we can do... Bearers of the Plague we can do, but I don't know if we have any over this way. Yeah, I think the, uh, the Ghost Claw Lynx we can find maybe south of here? Let's go... Let's, let's work on the Rotting Hearts. Maybe let's work on the Risen Hungerers? Yeah, well, there's a few things for us to do. They're not, they're not all centrally located. I'm gonna head south first. And we'll try to find some links. And then we'll head into the Dead Scar and see what we can do there. I so said there are going to be a bunch of them here off the road. Probably just going to be a good idea to clear everything to get to them instead of trying to sneak around these other enemies. could probably spend our talent points. Somebody did mention that we wanted to go full into uh, Spirit Tap. So I'm going to go full into Spirit Tap and then maybe we'll do 3 Darkness for the time being. Maybe we'll do 5 Darkness, 2 Improved Shadow Word Pain. Yeah, I think we'll do that.
Ooh, we had a big miss there with uh, Mind Blast. That's not what you want to see. There's a level 18 quest down here that we'll grab just to have it. Clearing the way. Magister Kendris sent me down here to clear the area of any hostile wildlife. Once this area is secure, the Magister plans to turn it into some sort of advanced outpost against the Scourge. Now, if there's one thing I've learned as an apprentice, it's to delegate responsibility, especially in matters that endanger one's life. If you're interested, I'll pay you well to kill the greater spindlewebs and ghost claw ravagers to the west and south of here. Keep your wits about you. I am interested in a couple levels. Just not right this minute. Let's head back to the north, and if we're lucky, we'll maybe finish up the rest of the cats we need. If we're not lucky, a bunch of bats will be up here instead. Always a possibility. It's as I feared, lots and lots of bats. Maybe clearing some out will help. We're gonna get a quest to fight the bats uh, after this one, I think, anyway. So it's gonna feel maybe a little redundant. Here we go, this will be our last one. Then we will head down into the Dead Scar and see about uh, working on that. Risen Hungerers and Gnarled Cannibals we need. Gangled, even. They're, they might also be Gnarled, but they're called Gangled. Oh, great. Let's do that.
So we don't need the phantasmal watchers. We need the gangled cannibals and risen hungerers. I should probably queue up for a couple runs of Rage Fire Chasm at some point as heals and just get some easy kill experience and maybe even a little bit of gear. And that probably makes some of this a little bit easier if we got like maybe one level ahead of the leveling curve would be good. I would really appreciate it if this level 80 didn't go around continuing to kill the uh, quest enemies that I needed. That would be really awesome. There's not really a reason for him to fight them at all.
There goes our level 70 friend again going right out of his way to kill mobs that he's got to know request mobs for the people who are questing here at level. Never nice to see. This will be the last gnarled cannibal we need, and then we're just looking for a couple of risen hungerers. Doesn't really seem like we're going to find any back that way. Let's head back to the south. Well, uh, yeah, now it's just a matter of what direction we think we're going to get respawns in first. Uh, we're at the very southern edge of where we can find them. And I'm not seeing any more, so I guess we're heading back to the north. It would have been really helpful if a certain level 80 character hadn't come through and killed most of them. That could have been super helpful. Here we go. Alright, I think with that one done, let's go ahead and head back to town and get it turned in. I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break here for the day. We still have lots of stuff in this level range to work on. I think the next stuff we're going to do, we're going to do the Underlay Mine, Occupied Territory, and the Windrunner Spire stuff, like all in a loop. Get all of this taken care of. And then we'll head back out to the Farstrader Enclave to turn in the Ghost Claw Lynx kill quest. And when we do that, they'll have a follow-up quest for that. And then we might be ready to start working on the Amani Catacombs. So yeah, we're just going to keep kind of taking stuff in level order. I've been enjoying doing it that way. It tends to work out pretty well if we stick with that. And yeah, hope you guys are enjoying things as well. What Thank you so this? much for being here and for the continued support. I really, really do appreciate it. Especially you guys who are showing up every day. Thank you guys so much. Uh, without you guys here, there would definitely be a lot less of me. So I really appreciate it. As always, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again sometime very soon. Bye for now.